ABC soup is one of those dishes that most of us have grown up eating and uh, it's probably the first thing that you learn how to cook when you're starting to cook for yourself after having moved out. Every family has their own way of making this soup and this is mine. So the basic ingredients of an ABC soup include corn. Some supermarkets sell corn that has been cut up but it's not too difficult to use a chopper and cut each one into thirds for your soup. Uh, you'll also need some carrot. Uh, to be honest, I don't peel my carrots. I just give it a good wash and cut it into coins. And if the coins are big, I cut them in half as well. You'll need some potatoes. Um, just peel them and cut them into chunks. And instead of onions, I like using tomatoes. I'll explain more later. So in terms of meat, I've started using chicken instead of pork. I like to use the parts of the chicken that are not that priced for the soup so parts like your carcass uh, which includes the backbones the wings so some people from the older generation insist on removing all of the offal but we actually like eating it so i leave it on so the very first step is to wash the chicken i mean most of the time i don't wash chicken when i cook it but it's something that my mom taught me when she was teaching me how to prepare a chicken soup and so i just do it um, so you just basically want to rinse it in water and drain it. And then this is where it gets interesting. So instead of um, blanching the chicken, my mom pan fries it instead. So you want to use a large pot and just add your chicken to that. And you just want to set that on high heat without any oil. So after a while, what happens is that um, the chicken fat kind of renders and it'll start frying the chicken pieces. You'll start seeing uh, the chicken pieces turn light golden and that's what you want. So in a way, it is uh, creating an extra layer of flavor. Um, and I also feel that the rendered fat kind of emulsifies with the soup a little bit and it makes it richer almost. So once your chicken pieces have um, a really nice golden brown color, you're gonna add your carrot as well as your corn. So these are vegetables that are more hardy and they also have a lot of flavor to impart to the soup and that's why we add them early. So add some water, you don't want to add too much, you just want enough to semi cover everything. Um, basically the more water you add, the, the less flavorful it will be. So I just make sure that my chicken pieces are completely covered and my vegetable pieces are mostly covered. Um, so my mom tells me that there are two kinds of Cantonese soups. One is simmered on the stove for a long time and the other one is a quicker version that is boiled. So I'm preparing this more like a boiled soup. So at this point, you want to season the soup with salt to taste. I normally allow this to boil on high heat for about 15 minutes, but you can go longer, like 30 minutes. And in this time, I'll do things like cook the rice and cook other dishes for dinner. When I'm almost ready, I'll add my potatoes. You want to add the potatoes um, when you're almost done because if you add it right at the start, the potatoes will start to disintegrate. So tomatoes in this soup is really not traditional, but I really love tomatoes in this soup because I feel like it adds more umami to, to this soup that you know I don't boil for very long. So what happens when the tomatoes are cooked in this soup is that they slowly start to melt and disintegrate into the soup. And this gives the soup a really lovely um, reddish color. Um, and it also imparts a nice tang, which I really enjoy. So while the potatoes are getting tender and the tomatoes are simmering away, I start preparing a sauce to eat with the chicken. So it's basically soy sauce and some cut up chili padi. So in about 10 to 15 minutes, you just want to check your potatoes with a fork and once it's tender, your soup is ready. And then what I normally do is remove the chicken from the soup and set it aside in a separate dish so that we can eat it and dip it into the, the soy sauce. And because the chicken hasn't been boiled to death, it still is really flavorful while being really tender and that's why I really love this method of preparation. So this is just the way I prepare ABC soup at home. I would love to know um, what are some variations that your family practices when making this soup.